and more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ascot Racecourse. This is actually the first time I've ever been here. Today, we're not here to see horses running about. We're here to see horsepower of a different nature. We're here with Historics Auctions because they've got an auction coming up this Saturday, the 15th of May, and all the cars are here behind me and some inside. Not only that, I'm here with my SLS AMG. Here she is, just look at her sat there and we can also see a gentleman here. He's not lurking. You are being roped in, I'm afraid, sir, to this uh, this video. So I brought my SLS AMG along, but don't panic because I'm not selling it. However, Matt here, uh, you work at Historics Auctions. I do, yep. You do, and you, you you actually told me your job title earlier, which is not your official job title. What 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 should we say officially? Officially, it's an auction negotiator. So okay. Mostly travelling around the country, valuing cars. Or okay. Disappointing people on the value of their cars. That's the bit that you told me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm actually going to get you. I'm very sorry about this. To well, I might be sorry in a second. To value my car, we won't dra we won't drag it on too much. But you've you've been given a heads up on this, so. Our SLS is good news, and if I put it into the auction, I told you what I paid, do you think I would be disappointed or pleased? Generally speaking, knowing what you've kind of paid, you're in a good state at the moment. I wouldn't probably put it into auction straight away now. I think these cars have got a good way to go with values. Whee! First, first built AMG car from nuts and bolts. Yep. It was the most powerful naturally aspirated engine at the time. And yep. of course, of course it's got the gold doors. doors. So, Generally speaking, I think that as this runs on in time, it will probably go up in value. You're probably onto a relatively good thing with, with the values. So, you know, hold on. I wouldn't rush. I'm very happy with that synopsis there, Matt. Thank you. I genuinely didn't know what you were going to say. I thought you were going to brutalise me, but um, that's very much aligned with what I had hoped with this car as well. So um, it will be a long-term hold. I didn't buy it just because of the values, but that always helps. Right, we're not just here to waffle on about this car because they're bored of this car already. Um, shall we go inside and we'll have a little look at uh, some bits and bobs and I'll have a little poke around. What's your favourite car coming up for auction? I think the Zagato is actually my favourite, but also there's a couple around like M635, I do love them. Right, talk us through this then. There's loads here and then we genuinely don't have time to show you everything because how many how many uh, lots are there? 171. 171 yeah. lots, right. 38 with no reserves, so plenty for everyone. But this is a, an M635. Yep. This one was owned by someone part of the BMW Owners Club. Yep. Um, other than the sort of slightly unoriginal wheels, which are there on purpose because he's got upgraded 840 brakes on so you need to have slightly upgraded wheels ah. on but otherwise very standard car beautifully maintained and these things are ultra cool really you know, they're good very good evidence BMWs are in a good moment with classics especially for modern classics are they so this would be a good bet this would be so that is live online if you want to go and check out more details that is available to well to bid on and you can come and have a look as well so the auction day is Saturday, but there are viewing days open between 9 and 5, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday here at Ascot Racecourse. Wonderful stuff. There's an escort there. Some of you will be shouting, is that an escort? Have I just got that wrong? That is an escort. Thank God for that, because they would have murdered me if I'd done that. Right, let's go inside anyway. It's actually in good company here. Right, we'll go inside then. I'm going to show you some very special bits and bobs inside here as well. I may well harass you further as well. You know what you're talking about, you see. I tend to latch onto people that know what they're talking oh, about. Yeah, I, I sound like I know what I'm talking about. That's all that matters. And that's the main thing. I've made a career out of that at work. We've got Mercs, BMWs, MG even. Chaos. Very nice little Lancia here. These things seem to be going up in popularity. Yeah, Lancias I'm, and little Alphas. Well, I'm one that's not rusty and everyone's all over it. They are great cars to drive. Especially for rallying. I quite fancy one of these. I very much enjoy the idea of one, but I think it'll just be another rust project for me. Introduce you to another restoration project. Oh uh, no, don't do that. I've had, I've had enough of rust on the on this channel. I think my audience have had enough of it. This is cool, actually. CSK. CSK edition, original classic Range Rover, two door, proper proper bit of kit. The interior on this is cash. I was actually looking at this and being tempted to bid. And who knows on Saturday? Depends what mood I wake up in. It's 9:30 in the morning, by the way. So um, if you get boozy the night before, it might catch you still still smasher. The interior here is money these csk editions are serious i mean how many do they make i don't know the exact numbers it wasn't many, not many but anyway have a little look at the listing because it gives you all the info on this particular uh edition but these are rare 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 cars and this one's pretty sorted as well so good news as is very common on this channel, I got distracted by a Porsche. So I have spotted this GTS, 928 GTS, in the corner of the copper. This is not any old 928 GTS because, ladies and gentlemen, drum roll please, it is a manual. That means it's only one of 44 right-hand drive manual 
GTSs in existence that was ever built. In, in fact, there's probably less than 44 even left. Look at it, it's cool. You can tell it's a GTS because it's got this stripe on the back there. You just don't see these around and if you do see them, the chances are you've got the auto box in there. That is a very, very cool car, a very rare car and actually not that much money. These are wicked. I mean, these windows on the side here, they're just chaos. I absolutely love the design of these and that is estimated to go for around 50 grand. The automatic counterparts, actually about half that. So even so, at 50 grand, I mean, you can't buy anything rare Porsche and classic really for 50 grand anymore so that is a good shout anyway all the details on that is online and I promise I'll go inside now I promise coming in then that is a very rare very very silly car absolute hell again that is coming up for auction we've got an entire I was gonna call this a room but it's hardly a room it's enormous cars here however there's some stuff down this way that's caught my interest particularly a Porsche ladies and gentlemen we're not going to point out everything. You'll know what a lot of this is. That is actually a Pagoda project, which is all but done, I believe. So there's a few bits and bobs still needing to be done on that. However, shock horror, I've been drawn to yet another Porsche. It's basically a Porsche channel at this point, but this is a right-hand drive 993 Turbo S. This is from an era where and I'm not having a go at modern Turbo S's because I love them, but this is from an era where Turbo S's were almost akin to GT products in how special they were and kind of how limited they were. There were barely any of these. I can't remember the exact stat, but there's really, really absolutely no right-hand drive Turbo S's. This was fully optioned. There's carbon all over the place, carbon dash. It's only done 45,000 miles, obviously manual gearbox. Guards red on the back of the seats, guards red paint, ceramics, the turbo wheels. This is a really cool, really rare car. Now, I really, really want to bid on this, but the estimate is 250 to 300,000, which I think is going to be a little bit too aggressive for my budgeting, ladies and gentlemen, particularly um, considering what I'm about to do, which I'm going to explain very soon to you all, but you'll understand. That is an amazing bit of kit, but if you do want a 993 Turbo S, which I don't blame if you do, and you've got the money, then that is coming up for auction on Saturday. I love that. It's got the rear wiper, but to be honest, I actually quite like rear wipers and old Porsches, so sorry about that if you don't agree. Anyway, oh, it's a bit of mobs. We've got a 456 there. I actually really like those as well. E types, some old bits. But this is where the action is going to happen. I'm getting an exclusive little sneak preview here. This is going to be the bidding room. This is where it's all going to happen. All socially distanced, as you can see. I'm going to get up there, actually. Maybe I'll get told off. I don't know if I'm allowed to do this. Going once, going twice. Sold. Where's the hammer? Is the hammer here? There you go. I'm actually going to get kicked out. I'm going to get down. Was that good? Am I hired? Oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> so coming through there and down the way here, we've actually got uh, Vicky Butler Henderson. She is here doing some filming. I've just done some filming with her actually uh, for the Historics YouTube channel. So make sure you go and check that out. It features yours truly having a little interview with Vicky. Uh, she's questioning me on my car buying uh, behavior and antics. Very nice lady actually. I've worked with her before at uh, Blenheim Palace years ago. Myself and her were judging a uh, classic car uh, concourse competition thing. We basically both had clipboards and pens and were being very official and sensible. But lovely lady, very nice to see her. And the video with her is very nice indeed. She's hard at work over here with the Vantage V12 Zagato prototype. Vicky's actually just started her own YouTube channel as well, so make sure you go and check that out. Really cool, I was with uh, modern Zagatos recently, uh, the shooting brake and the Volante with the Zagato grill, the new owner of option. So this car is actually a prototype car. There's only two of them in existence. It's got a V12, it's that lovely, lovely Aston Green. It's got tan inside and Zagato. Hello, send me an invoice appearance fee for this. Ping it over, and we've got 
an Alpine, an original Alpine here as well. This actually did the Targa Florio um, many moons ago, and there's loads of cool photos and history surrounding this car as well. Um, really, really cool. And obviously, Alpine have now uh, relaunched the A110. I think it's the A110, but this is the 1600 S. This is the car that really uh, started it all. This is the original. Um, so a car that's only going to appreciate more in value as time goes on. Absolutely love these. When I was growing up, my neighbor actually had one of these. Amazing bit of kit. Again, all details on those cars are online. We'll leave them to it. I think I'm probably getting the back of shot now. E-types, E-types. Aston, Vantage, probably got that wrong. Brutal muscle car. Back when Astons were really, really, really cool. Loads of E-types here. Another big boy Aston. Some really spicy stuff here. Modern AC Schnitzer M2. It's the ACL 2S, snappily named. That's very cool, actually. A really nice finish on that paint. What is that? A paint? Chaos! I thought that was a wrap. Very cool. Ferrari. We've got a Ferrari here. Now, I've got some old Ferrari news. I say old in an endearing way. Uh, I've got some news coming to the channel, so do stay tuned to that. But this is the 348 TS. That means it's basically a Targa. This middle panel comes off. Um, it's slightly, slightly undervalued compared to the 355, in my opinion. And I think it looks as good, if not better, than the 355, especially when that middle panel comes off. I think these are undervalued. I think these are good news. Um, and that's not a hint, by the way. That's not a hint. There is, a, there is classic Ferrari news coming to the channel. We got a lovely old Lancia there. Pagoda in the background. And we've got this, okay? You might be thinking, TG, I don't care about Maserati. However, it is a shooting brake. One of the only ones in the world. This was actually custom built by a coachworks, I believe, here in the UK. There's actually an interesting story behind this car, um, but the owner got this custom built, um, but it looks OEM. Really cool, and as Maseratis do, it will sound absolutely amazing, so very cool car. It's worth just going to have a little read up on that car anyway. Cool to have a one of one just to ferry the kids around in. Banter. Right, as a little bonus, a little treat for those of you that have got this far in the video, I'm now going to go and visit what can only be described as a bat cave, a private collection of cars that you are going to have to see to believe. So from here then at Ascot Racecourse, make sure you go and check out the full lots, the links are below, and make sure you also go and enter the competition to win free tickets. As of the point this video goes live, if you subscribe to their YouTube channel and follow them on Instagram, you can win tickets to come to the auction live here at Ascot Racecourse, where I'm stood right now. So make sure you go and subscribe to the Historics Auctions YouTube channel and the Instagram channel. But for now, we're gonna head over to a bat cave, a private collection of cars, which makes sense but I'll explain why it all makes sense in a second. So let's go. Right then guys, here is a little treat. So Mark from Historic Auctions, I came round to his gaff to have a look at one of his cars, but I didn't realize is he's got an absolutely insane collection because he also owns a company called Character Cars. Now you'll already be seeing some very, very familiar vehicles and I could not not take you guys round this. I've literally just turned up to his house and I'm barging around his garage. So if you see things in the way, this has not been prepared. So we've got the car from Skyfall here and all of these cars you see, there's loads by the way, it's like an Aladdin's den. It just keeps going and going. So every single car you see, all the functions work on them and you can hire any of these out. So you can go on character cars and you can actually get any of these cars. So people are getting married with these cars and whatnot. So, so this is the Aston Martin from Skyfall. As again, all the gadgets work. I'm trying not to uh, knock anything here. And this is available, all the gadgets and whatnot in there. So, we've got the Batman Superman car there. And I've actually got some footage of it turning on and flames that actually come out the back of it there. And inside <laughs> there, it's absolutely mental. I will, of course, overlay that footage right now. And those in their 30s or older will actually recognize this one the most. This is the Batmobile that most of you will know. And this is actually becoming really popular because of the kind of age of uh, people getting married. This car is going out a lot. And this is one of the most popular cars in the collection. Over in the corner there, we've got the Tumbler. Some of you will actually recognize that from a Wes Nelson video. 
very recently. Uh, last year, in fact, that went to number one. So that was the very car that was in that video. But of course, it is the tumbler from Batman, uh, which is slightly more notable than a Wes Nelson video. Nothing wrong with Wes Nelson. We like Wes. Oh, coming over here. We've got a noddy car. Do let me know in the comments if you think of any creative ideas in terms of any of these cars and making content with them. I mean, that is absolute carnage. Driving down the King's Road and that with Archie would just be hell. In fact, I think that would actually quite suit Archie, literally just as his car. Anyway, less abuse, the better for Archie. We've got a Mini down here. And we've also got the original Batmobile right here. So this is the kind of Batmobile uh, that if you're around my age, your parents would actually recognize as the Batmobile. And it is the Batmobile because it's the first one. This is 1966 Batmobile. And again, everything absolutely works as it should do. I mean, imagine driving this around. Complete mayhem. So, so cool though. And actually out the back as well, as you do, He's got a bat boat from the 60s as well. Um, so there is a bat boat out the back as well. I'm going to show you the back of this. Complete mayhem. As I say, I've literally just turned up to Mark's house to see something else. And he's like, oh, do you want to have a look downstairs? But this garage setup down here, it's huge. It's absolute goals. You would not notice there from the outside. It's massive down here. And this gives me a very good uh, target to work towards when I become civilized and actually buy a house. Look at that, it's hell, it's huge. Absolutely huge. Anyway guys, a very impromptu little visit there. That literally just got tacked onto the end of my little visit to Historic's Auctions. So if you want to check out any of the lots in Historic's Auctions, make sure you hit the link below. All the lots are there, more photos, more information about each car. And of course, actually let me know if you're bidding on any of the cars. I want to know what you guys are bidding on. And I may well be doing some bidding myself. So maybe I'll see some of you in the auction room. Maybe I won't. But for now, from myself, and this incredible collection here. Again, if you want to hire any of the cars that you've seen here, that is on a website called Character Cars. I'll actually leave the link below as well. And do, of course, let me know if any of you are barreling around in a Batmobile anytime soon, because that I want to see. For now, though, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this very impromptu, varied video. A little bit of change up of content. Thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.